Hello everyone, my name is Viper and welcome to a new video on my channel. In this new video, I bring you, as promised, we hit the like button. Thank you so much, it was insane support. If we can get even more likes on this video, I'll say uh, about 30 likes. I'll release another video tomorrow as soon as I can, so I'm counting on your support. But yeah, the video that I'm bringing you guys today is a team for Unity that you guys can maybe test out. Yes, in this video, I'll show the the team at level 200 and with max stats and really good gear but i think in overall it's going to be a really good team not uh, the usual one that people already know uh, ilio um, enu uh, panda and iop i'm gonna add two new characters which is the fec and the stream that got some changes as recently and i think it's gonna be pretty pretty cool you guys will see but yeah let's get right into it Okay everyone, we are back and I'm gonna try to test you why I think this is gonna be a good team for Unity. If you wanna rush the new servers, it can also work. But if you're already level 200 on other servers and you wanna test out the new team, I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna get ready really fast. It's insane the amount of damage, uh, burst damage, especially that this team can uh, uh, can put out. I'm gonna quickly buff the IOP, but you're gonna see that the main damage is not even uh, right now. It's gonna be like when you get the Wrath, for example. I am playing um, a little uh, damage uh, multi-crit IOP for the people that are uh, interested. Uh, but yes, the, the IOP I can Wrath turn 1, we can just buff ourselves. Mainly, I will use Strength and in Spells, which is uh, the most important spells here. I can Divine us all uh, and get some crits with the uh, double concentration. And the most important thing about this team, Ilio is already a really good duo, is the um, Fekka Sram. Why Fekka Sram, you might ask? Simply because the Fekka has the pasture land, as I said before, insane 10% final damage. And it's not a bad Fekka, not a bad character at all, right? It's a character that you can uh, use to shield your team with Rampart and stuff like that. It will always be useful. Uh, the little Fekka. I can Rampart and all my team will be safe. And a Srem, of course, a Srem that can uh, have, as per usual, the Mist. The Mist and, of course, the Mortuary Mark, as I talked before in the video. Don't forget to check it out. You can Vuln with Cutthroat and Mortuary Mark. I'm playing in Srem, in Ilio, multi Fekka and multi Kritayo. So yeah, we can Mist will be safe for a long, long time. I can Vuln mobs like this. And I should always uh, start stacking uh, traps because they uh, buff me. So yeah, let's start uh, stacking this trap. Mortuary Mark State 3. That's how, uh, how stacked it is at the moment. It is my Ilios turn. The Ilios turn basically is going to do a lot of damage. You can buff the eye up as well. It's just typical Ilios as you can see. I do a lot of damage still. I'm full int crit as well. Uh, and the Ilio is going to be used for diffusion. So diffusion, I can get a lot of zones and uh, destroy everyone. Diop is going to be very strong as per usual. A, a distance Diop will always be strong. You can do uh, a lot, a lot of damage. You can see with pressure, I do 1.4Ks. Uh, I can still uh, uh, do something else like uh, the Strength Storm. Strength Storm, it got buffed. And gathering, so I do a lot of damage. People said, "Oh, Ilio got nerfed. I won't do as much damage." <laughs> People don't realize that the the power from Ilio doesn't come from the 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 portal base damage. It comes from the redirection and the cells that you can get. Okay, that's the important part of Ilio drop. So getting minus five percent or two percent doesn't mean anything if you still get forty percent in the end. Uh, but yeah. Two turns, right? It lasts for two turns, so my op will still uh, use it. So I'm, I can do pasture land here already, and I can try maybe to get some zones, so the my little IOP can uh, delete them all. I can push this guy, no? Yeah, I can push this guy. Let's try to get some zones there. I do not have release, so I just need to use sudden shower. But 10% yeah, final damage, and everyone will be able to utilize my portals. Of course, you need to set it up really really well. The wounds for days I can uh, plot two turns, plot everyone. Uh, I can use even uh, more uh, traps to buff the mortuary mark. Bam, bam, doesn't really matter but it is what it is. There we go. And we can uh, vuln with the cutthroat. So that's the important part I'm gonna show you really quickly. You just need to set up in PVM of course it's gonna be much, uh, much, much more harder to set up everything. That's completely normal. We can do a portal right there. Diop still has portals that he can use. And next turn, what I'm gonna do 
is that I'm going to put portals so I can hit and Iob can wound. Okay, that's the most important part. I can uh, buff, I can buff myself as well for next turn, blah, blah, blah. And Iob now, basically, I'm just going to full buff myself with power, with divine. I just need to make sure I end next to the lantern. can also use accumulation and uh, maybe stack some crits. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Concentration. The animations on Unity are still uh, got here, really got here. And the Fekka, the Fekka can do what you guys might ask. The Fekka already did pasture land, so the pasture land I can replace it there because it's uh, broken. And we can do glyphs, of course. We can always do glyphs. It's the the main rule of the Fekka. It's not bad at all. Or we can hit in AOE. We can also use the portals. You have more distance now. I'm gonna even do it like this. But yeah, you have more distance on Fekka. Fekka is really good for utility. That's that's the main role of the Fekka. But yeah, let's get right into it. So this turn, with the Srem, we start by Vulning. I can Vuln these two targets. Mortuary Mark is only on one target. But the other two, I can Vuln. I need to set up this uh, really, really well. Maybe put a portal there. But yeah, I can uh, cut. I can Vuln them all with Cutthroat, Cutthroat. And then I can Mortuary Mark this guy. So everyone here is Vulned. It's... Pretty insane. Wait, I can watch Ready Mark more than one. That guy is literally one, like, full wound. With Iliotrop, I can uh, try to uh, buff the Iop. If I'm not wrong here. I mean, buffing the Iop would be the best option. But I feel like just putting a portal here so we can hit. And I can still maybe buff the Iop, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buff the Iop. We can do it like this. Bam, bam, bam. Buff the Iop. And a diffusion, uh, anyone, that guy over there, for example. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be insane because it's going to reflect damage. And now it's Diop's turn. I have Wrath. I'm fully buffed. I'm going to have the time of my life. What I can do is I can maybe start off with uh, something like uh, uh, a Wrath. It will almost delete him. This guy will retrieve the spells. Then I can maybe put this here. I can... Legit, just one shot them all. Precipitation already. I can <laughs> look. Look how much damage it is. Look how much damage it is. Two mult. Uh, bam, 10k damage. And I can still pigmatia for 1.5k damage. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I didn't set up this really well, but they are so wound that I delete them in the AOE, especially. Of course, there's still my Fekka that can take advantage of the 10% final damage. I just come here, excursion, take advantage of this, put a little spell. Take zones, your eyes already know. Look at, just look at this. Look at the damage even I do, right? Even I do so much damage, it's it's nuts, it's just nuts. The damage reflection, everything. And the glyph again, and Srem, he can finish it off. He can also use the portals. It's not bad at all in my opinion. This glyph right here, this glyph right here everyone, is a broken. When I mean a broken, I mean a broken. Uh, I should be able to use Furrow here, yep, hit them all. There we go. Not bad at all. A little fragmentation trap if they want to proc it. And my Ilio, my Ilio is just here to do damage as well. It's not a bad class at all, right? It's not a bad class at all, Iliotrop. It will still be really, really useful. I can put the portal more than less here. I can Vuln. I didn't even have Conjuration, boys. If I did Conjuration, it would have been even more damage. Do you realize how much I trolled with not using Conjuration? I trolled a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But yeah, Diop, Diop is just an insane, insane, insane character. If I could not move, yeah. I don't even have the pasture here, but I just do too much damage. Accumulation for too much damage. The multi-crit Diop is something that you guys should test. You guys really should test. But yeah, I'll try to take other examples if I can do a really, really big turn with a better setup. Okay, everyone, we are back and I'm going to test out a full turn on a 50k HP pouch. So, first of all, we are going to Vuln once by 10%. This is the most opti you can do it. Then we can Mortuary Mark for another 10, another 10%. Let's see how much HP she ends with. So I'm actually gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do some uh, some damage. Why not? I can do another card throat and uh, maybe a con because it does some damage. Let's move out. Oh, utilizing the the glyph, everything was a setup. Then for the Heliotrop, I'm gonna buff my eye up. Bam, bam. And I'm gonna uh, diffusion the 
pouch in ball. So he gets wound, I can do some damage as well. I don't have the most up the turn, I should have uh, went there and hit him, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna do a, a virus and uh, an offense, why not? It's some damage, it is some damage. I should have used conjuration, because conjuration would have been the most uh, worth it. But without conjuration, I'm losing 30%, let's not forget. Let's see how much damage my IOP does, right? My IOP is fully, fully buffed, let's start with the precipitation. How much damage do I just do with the Sword of Iop? Wow. <laughs> Iop's Wrath, I even... I even... Well, whatever. I, I just do too much damage, no? 3k's. How much uh, Iop's Wrath? 13k? It's not bad at all, huh? It's not bad at all. I almost... I think I can one-shot it with a Fekka, right? I can easily one-shot it with a Fekka. I might be wrong, but I, I suppose I shouldn't be. Uh, what does the most damage? The backlash does the most damage. 3 AP, 3 AP. And then Typhoon does more. No. This does more. Steal. And do I have a 4 AP glyph that might heal? Maybe Shadow Shower kills? No, it does not kill. I'm very far away from killing. I don't know why I'm saying I'm gonna kill it when I'm very, very, very far away. Uh, but yeah, it's not bad at all in my opinion. Not bad at all. We can push the Fekka. Try to finish it off since it started on SRAM. Uh, with Furrows, bam bam, but it, it's not gonna happen, but it's pretty pretty nice. And I missed, I missed the 30% from Wrath, huh? I missed the 30% from Wrath, I kinda trolled, but yeah, this is basically the team. You guys let me know, this team does a lot of damage, and it also has a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of utility, as I, I was going to say. Because even if you don't have uh, a lot of, uh, how can I say it, uh, like... Burst damage that you set up for the turn. You can Rampart, you can uh, Bastion, Barricade. Yeah, you can basically Rampart your teammates. This little glyph is huge. This little glyph is gonna... It has to... Maybe as a change or something. Because 10% final damage is not bad at all. And then, of course, uh, we have the SRAM, guys. We have the SRAM that uh, this buff is not bad at all. Like, not bad at all for real. The fact that you can Vuln and then Vuln again... That uh, the pouch is gonna get mega wound. I didn't. It's not even the max, but how much wound he is right now? Doesn't show the the summary, but he's wound like 18%. And then deal, you can wound him even more on his turn. I think it's, I think it's huge. I might be overreacting, but I think it's pretty pretty huge. Like extremely huge. Uh, what can I do here? That I trolled a bit. No, I didn't troll a bit. I can do maybe like this. There we go. And Vulnum Conjuration, you guys already know. And they do a lot of damage. Offense only 3 AP, I even kill him. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comments. If you like the team, you can test it out on the beta. Uh, the sets will be maybe in the description, if I don't forget. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for the support. Don't forget to leave a like and I'll bring you another video tomorrow if we get 30 likes. Bye bye.